Well, we continue our look at ocular health through our dry eye series this morning, and we are talking about the discomfort and visual problems of dry eye and how it affects millions of Americans, including those who have undergone refractive surgery, such as LASIK surgery, which is performed so that we no longer need glasses or contact lenses. Here with us this morning is Dr. Marguerite McDonald, an ophthalmologist, to discuss some easy solutions to the dry eye problem after surgery. Good morning, doctor. Good to see you. Thank you. Good morning to you, Danielle. And I want to get into this conversation with you here in just a moment. But before we go any further, I'd like to share with our viewers a touching story of one woman's struggle to overcome the daily obstacle of chronic dry eyes. Let's watch. Hi, my name is Gail, and I have chronic dry eye. What I do during the course of the day is I spend a lot of time in front of the computer, and I do a lot of reading, and I do a lot of research. As I sat in front of my computer more and more, my eyes would get very blurry and they get very itchy and very scratchy. And I felt like it was almost like it was an effort to look through my eyes to be able to read and it was very hard for me to concentrate on what I was doing. This was happening during the course of several months and it wasn't getting better. I actually um, was a little concerned because I thought it might have been allergy related. I said, well, let me go to my eye doctor first. Well, when I went in to see my eye doctor, I knew that I was having some issues with my eyes. And then when she did some testing, she realized that I did have chronic dry eye. What she did was she prescribed something for me, which I didn't even know that there was something that you could be prescribed for dry eye. And now I have this product. It's really helped me a lot. I'm able to go through my day without having to drop my eyes every hour and I really feel a lot better. I feel very secure with it. So it's very important that you get your eyes checked. Well, as you can see from watching that piece of video, Gail really has come a long way, but I wanted to ask you, how do people like Gail even get dry eye in the first place? Well, Danielle, everybody gets drier with the passage of time. Mm. Women are much drier than men because of hormonal changes. And even though the average woman doesn't experience menopause until age 52, her changes begin perimenopause at 38. Ah. And there are also environmental changes. Sure. And um, extreme environmental conditions like skiing and, and such uh, make a difference. Also, computer use, where the natural blink rate goes from 20 mm. times a minute to three mm -hmm. times a minute. <laughs> yeah. And of course, medicines and LASIK surgery. All right, so a lot of factors there. And you know, it's interesting, this lady that I'm sitting next to here certainly knows what she is talking about, because listen to this. In 1988, you did the very first laser vision correction surgery in the entire world. Congratulations to you on that. Thank you. Pretty big deal there. And so you do know what you're talking about, but how does laser surgery then increase the chance of getting dry eye? The vast majority of patients have LASIK and do not experience dry eye but there is a small subset of patients who have pre-existing dry eye that's exacerbated by the surgery, briefly. Ah, uh, briefly exacerbated. So will the dry eye then eventually go away after surgery? With treatment, it will, but even without treatment, in extreme cases, after two years, the patient will return to the state they would have been in had they never had the LASIK surgery. So is there any relief? There absolutely is relief. First, it can be diagnosed and treated in advance of the surgery so the patient will recover quickly and easily. Mm -hmm. And one of the pillars of dry eye treatment in this, and even in virgin eyes, is fresh coat. It is a wonderful artificial tear that treats all three layers of the natural tear film. It's by prescription and covered by almost everybody's insurance. I love that. Is there any way though to know, like if we're gonna be getting dry eye if we have LASIK surgery? The doctor will take a very complete history and do a good physical that includes tear osmolarity tests and several other things. Mm -hmm. But usually the history gives it away because people have trouble with their contact lenses. That's why they want LASIK to begin with. If we suspect dry eye after surgery, what should we do, doctor? Go back to your medical team, to the team that provided surgery for you, and explain your symptoms and you will get probably a prescription for fresh coat, and you will also get other therapies such as nutritional supplements, some ointments, and other topical ophthalmic medications. So going back to the Gale situation for a second here, you know, some of our viewers may be watching this and saying to themselves, guess what, I have these symptoms with my eyes like Gale, but I didn't have the surgery. What should they do? 
Well, you know, the vast majority of dry eye patients never had any kind of eye surgery. Mm. It just increases, as I said, with the passage of time and the other factors. They should go to their eye doctor. They should explain their symptoms and get a good diagnosis and treatment plan. Well, very good advice. Thank you so much for sharing it with our viewers this morning. Good to see you. Thank you. My pleasure. And if you want more information on dry eyes, simply go to the website. It is freshcoatkote.com.